Are you having trouble launching your favorite Roblox game because it keeps saying HTTP error 503 service unavailable? In this video, we'll show you how to fix this error. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, refresh the page. Sometimes, all you need to do to load a website or play Roblox again is to refresh the page. You can quickly refresh a website by pressing F5 key on your keyboard or clicking the refresh button on your web browser. Next, restart the browser. If refreshing the page didn't fix the error, close and reopen your web browser and see if that will help. Next, check for server outage. When you try to open a Roblox game, you may get an error message if the server is having trouble. To check, first, go to the official website for the Roblox server status. On this site, you can find out if there are any bugs that affect how the game works. There is also a list of problems that have happened in the past, which might help you figure out why you're getting the error. Next, refresh the cache and cookies. If you keep getting the error even though there are no known service problems, you can clear your web browser's cache and cookies. The exact steps depend on what browser you are using, so make sure to look for steps on the internet. Next, try another browser. If the error keeps coming up, you can also try to access your Roblox game with a different browser. If the game works on another browser, you'll need to troubleshoot the one that doesn't by probably uninstalling and reinstalling it. Next, restart the modem or router. Sometimes, a bug or a problem with a network device can make it hard to browse. Now is the time to restart your modem or router if you haven't already. Next, try another DNS. Some players were able to fix the error by using a different DNS server, preferably Google's public DNS. Here's what you should do. Press the Windows key on your keyboard, type in Control Panel, and open the Control Panel app. Click Network, and internet. Go to Network and Sharing Center. Click on Change Adapter Options. Right-click on Ethernet Network and click Properties. In the Ethernet Properties window, click Internet Protocol version 4, then select Properties. In the Internet Protocol version 4 window, select Use the following DNS server addresses. For your preferred DNS server, type in 888.8. .8. For your alternate DNS server, type in 884.4. Make sure to enable validate settings upon exit box, then click OK. Next, get help from your ISP. If none of the solutions in this guide help you fix issue, you might want to ask your internet service provider for help. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.